hot diggity dog. Oh, Nashville, where do we begin? You are one loud, crazy, but very kind city. You give our many vibrations, frequencies, and rhythms of music to everyone's liking. You really do have some great barbecue, and you can best believe we sang our hearts out to every one of your country singing performances. We almost went to every honky-tonk you had to offer, and yes, we ate at all three of your famous hot chicken restaurants that burned us twice. The first time when we ate it, and the second, well, you know. But we had no clue about your printer's alley. Bom dia, gente. First night in Tennessee, the propane died on us last night. So inside the RV, it's currently 55 degrees Celsius, which is super cold. We're gonna write down right here how much that is in Celsius, because I don't know. So we have two propanes, right? The one that we were using, just like, it was all done that happened last night and it was, it was already late we didn't want to go outside to just twist it and, and and do the valve to go on the other side that's what joe is doing right now so inside the the rv was really cold but now joe just switched the propane uh, we'll be just fine another thing that we're gonna do today probably we're gonna buy a space heater so that way we don't use much propane oh it's cold well it was sitting there for 12 hours of course it's cold then people are gonna judge me. It's okay. I mean, they're gonna judge you if I share with them what time it is. That's true. Do I tell them? Nope. I'll tell them. Up to you. It's 9.25, guys. <laughs> 9.25 a.m. So I can't lose weight. Uh, silly me. I didn't know this, that Nashville was the epic center for like the prohibition ages, and there's a lot of Speakeasies here, a lot of lounges, so that'll be something to cool check out. Amanhã, ah, yes. fala você está pesquisando coisas para fazer em inglês. Yeah, so, so what she just said, she told me to translate. <laughs> uh, that I'm that I'm looking up stuff for us to do in that show. Right here. The goal is to go tonight and watch Joe Mayer. So we're getting ready. I have three more minutes to buy the tickets until the tickets close for sale. I'm just waiting to drop a little bit, you know. Uh, on game time, so hopefully we can get for a good price. One minute later. We bought a ticket, yay! We're going to the concert, we're super pumped. I wanted to buy for 200 bucks each, because it's super right in the front. Uh, we ended up buying for 236, it's not bad. It's not bad, it's not bad. I know you guys are gonna mention that Joe and I are matching. I just wanna say that in my defense, I got dressed before Joe. I don't know why he's wearing light pink, but... Cause I look but, good in it, that's why. I look good in it, that's why. But here we are. I'm about to go to the concert and we should have a super good time. We're excited. This is our first night going out in Nashville. To check. Still finding parking. Thank God Joe is driving because he's got more patience than I do. Guys, it was super fast to get in. Like super fast. Super advanced. Better than my It's so quiet inside. We were so respectful. That's beautiful. Let's go get a drink. Alright, it's our first Jack and Coke. We started off, we're here at the John Mayer concert. Thanks to Mazel, how you feel? I'm excited. Yeah? The seats are crazy. Oh, yeah. They're super close. We're basically gonna like see him sweat if he ever does. to a tour that's kind of give us like some history of Nashville kind of take us behind the scenes of some kind of lounges and some speakeasy bars because apparently uh, Nashville was epic epic center for the prohibition so yeah uh, that's Barbara Coffin before we leave 
So that's us. We're running a tidbit behind as per usual because it's 4.22. The tour starts at 5 o'clock. So yeah, we'll hopefully we get there on time. We're on the way to this speakeasy tour. We're super excited. We have not had lunch. So probably the first drink is already going to hit us pretty good, which is dangerous. Oh yeah. We're excited to do this tour. Uh, how much was it? 60 bucks, so 30 each. 30 bucks each. Sun finally decided to say hello. It's been cloudy all day, so we're excited. The weather is really good. We're in the middle of October, and I was expecting Nashville to be colder than this, and I'm loving that it's not cold at all. So let's see how this tour is gonna go. Music is taken so seriously around here that musicians don't say they have a gig to play. They call it shifts. Picture this. On Broadway, you got 50 plus honky tonks with at least three floors each and almost all of them will have a band playing live. The shifts go from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. 2 to 6, 6 to 10, and 10 to 2 a.m. every single day. In 1920, a law was approved banning the manufacture, sale, and transportation of alcohol with the intention of making America sober up. If you're familiar with the Prohibition era, you know that the polar opposite ended up happening. And during this time, smuggling alcohol became a massive industry mostly run by the bootleggers. Of course, they'll need a secret location to sell their drinks, so that's how the speakeasies became very popular across the US. And in Nashville, it was no different. Here at the Printer's Alley, people would gather in the speakeasies to have their drinks and of course listen to some good jazz. Nowadays, we can walk around the alley, get into the bars and just imagine for a second how those crazy days were back in the day. This was one of the first speakeasies ever in, in Nashville. Oh yeah. Thank you. There you go. and live music only in Nashville. That's where we're going. Thank you for Guys, we're time. going to the OG Speakeasy and Honky Tonk bootleggers. We're excited for that. I want to be friends with you guys forever. Guys, we haven't had lunch. We have already three, three drinks, so... But the music is everywhere, so... <laughs> Hungry, and there's a lot of people. 
Oh, the line for Jax? Guys, that's the line for Jax. Sure, he's similar. That's where we want to go. Oh, God! This song about standing in line in this place called Jack's Barbecue. Got the lyrics right here. That's exactly what we do, we're standing in line. Bathroom, but I want to show you guys what we got. We got a three meat sausage, brisket, and ribs. Then we got uh, cucumber salad and potato salad. I'm hungry and drunk, so everything's <laughs> a yes. Mm. This is Joe trying to learn the lyrics of the songs that the bands play in the honky tonks. Sentai? My jam. Musicanta, man. Canta? I got friends in low places. Today's agenda is we're gonna have some good breakfast at this, uh, what's it called? Snooze. It's cause called Snooze. Uh, kind of ironic because we snoozed the hell out of our alarms this morning. Um, so yeah, we heard some good stuff about this place. And then from there, we go to a farmer's market, get some fresh ingredients for the week, cook good, eat good, work out good, do all that good stuff. There are very few things in this world that I hate. One of them is paying for parking. I absolutely hate paying for parking. It's stupid. In Nashville, every parking spot is just so freaking expensive. But whatever. It's part of the experience, I guess. Let's go eat. Place called Snooze and it's freaking packed. We're waiting for our table to be ready. We get you at this Mexican restaurant, it's a little empty. Get the table real quick. Guys, it's actually 17 to 0 right now. For me. He's saying, this is game. I'm saying we gotta go to New York. He goes, nah, that's game, that's game. Guys, they have quite a lot of options. Sex Benedict, vegan, sandwiches. Oh, it's just a bunch of options. In the back. There's quite a lot of drinking options, including alcohol, coffee, at least just a lot of It's October, so we get a bunch of Guys, we made 
get it. We're here at the farmer's market. Let's see what they got to offer. Parking is tight, so if you have a truck like us, beware. You gotta find the lefty one. We're gonna make something delicious. It's called avocado toast. Avocado toast. So just making the avocado part, and I'm making eggs. Like Barbara's been losing weight, like. <laughs> crazy and i've been wanting to know like hey barbara what's your secret right i need to know because i want to lose weight too she's like yeah i'll show you <laughs> so it's like this right you got like this so hey look you want to lose an extra five pounds <laughs> right there an extra 10 right there and then you just you know however how much you want to lose you're good guys it's so cold we woke up was 9 degrees celsius which is 48 degrees fahrenheit it's been cloudy all day i haven't left the rv all day because i was inside working also super cold right now is 11 degrees celsius which is 51 52 degrees fahrenheit i gotta go for my walk because i gotta get my steps in and i need to work out because i haven't worked out probably in seven days or something like that it sounds disgusting i know i'm so sorry so yeah i need to work out so i'm gonna work outside because that's all we got right here Ta -da. i need to just tough it up and just get this done so let's go for this walk and let's work out one mile done Let's go work out. Some of you guys are gonna be like, oh my god, it is only 50 degrees. It's not cold. Yeah, you say that because probably we were born and raised in a region that's mad cold because that's cold. I was born and raised in Brazil. Although the region that I was raised was in the mountains in the south. Yes, it was cold. But I lived seven years in Miami, which there's no cold temperatures at all. So, yeah, I kind of forgot what cold feels like. <coughs> but staying in Nashville has reminded me what cold feels like. And it's cool because I don't like the cold. I'm enjoying it, but at the same time, I just 
don't want to be in the cold. So let's go work out. Okay. This. Ooh, 15 pounds. 15 pounds. And that should do it. I'm gonna keep doing my workout because I'm gonna go to this whiskey tasting very soon. So let me get busy and I'll talk to you guys at the whiskey tasting. We shouldn't be here, but yeah, here we are. I thought I would never get Whataburger outside of Texas, but they have it here in Nashville, so why not? Also, we didn't have lunch and we're about to go whiskey tasting, so we need something, you know? Otherwise, we're not gonna make it. So we're about to head up this whiskey bar, do some whiskey tasting, go to some other bars we saw the other day on the tour and, you know, just have a good night and listen to some good music and say some good stuff. Standard proof. Elita <laughs> Beba. Like, he's not really like known for singing. He does like some crazy rap, like. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the same one? The God. The Guys, in this glass there was habanero whiskey that this bar made from scratch. And there's one drop of whiskey. How about whiskey? And I want to try. Let's see. It's literally one drop. So let's see if I can handle it. Yes. No. No. Oh. I told you. What is wrong with you? You like that thing? Yeah, that's good. Enjoying some good whiskey out here. Okay. Old fashioned. Drink responsibly. Just, just make sure that whenever you're in, in Nashville, you come to this bar. Bartenders are amazing, drinks yes. are awesome. It's just fun, super fun overall. And it's a bit different compared to the honky tonks. Going to a, a bar in Printer's Alley called Alley Taps. I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking. That's what she is right now, but we'll see. I'm not sure we can film in there, so but we'll try to see what we can do. This is Sprite.
on Broadway. We're gonna come and check it out during the day, see how it looks. Uh, we do know that artists are playing since 10 a.m. Uh, we're excited to check it out, see what kind of music is playing right now. Yesterday we had such a great time. We went to a couple of awesome bars. Uh, we saw this guy singing at this bar and it was amazing, you guys saw. Um, so let's see what today has in store for us. We're gonna share with you what Broadway looks like during the day. A lot of people are already out. Uh, we found parking on the street which saved us like 30 bucks more $35 so if you can come early try to find parking on the streets that's the only way to save money here in Nashville because parking is crazy all right on to broader we go
so have you know a nice little treat to treat ourselves. Um, that's pretty much it. And then I on a good note. It's a good sweet. Cara, caraca, velho. Gente, olha isso aqui. Oi, gente! We didn't do anything today. It's Sunday and it felt pretty amazing. You have to rest. Mm -hmm. Because usually we're either on the road or we're exploring the new town we're in. So it just felt really good to just do nothing. Mm. And right now we're gonna go to this bar. It's called Party Fall. It's not really a bar, it's a restaurant that serves drinks. Party Fall. It's Party like Fall. one of those chain, re chain, no well known chain restaurants. But and it has hot chicken and it's like top three from Patty B's and Princess. And then this one I've heard. So we're gonna try it out. Good reviews. So we'll see. Yeah, and we're also gonna watch Astros. Baseball because that's what this guy's from. And try some bushwicks and try that. So, so let's go. Okay, it's a bit loud in here, but I'm gonna start to talk. We just ordered this drink right here. It's called the Bourbon Bushwalker, and it's a Tennessee thing. It's really good. It's almost like a milkshake with some whiskey. It's perfect. Uh, we came to this place uh, here called Party Fowl. We're here for the chicken. Uh, it's a pretty big place for chicken out of the three locations that we are trying. So let's see how it goes. Hi, first bite, guys. Oui. It's good. <laughs> it's medium though. It's spicy. Yeah. He's dipping in that ranch because he knows it's about to burn. Good? Do you like it? I already had a bite. It was pretty delicious. I didn't get any seasoning. I mean, just the, the regular seasoning. That doesn't burn my mouth. I'm gonna work in here. Mine's a medium. So you got what you got? I got. Original? Just like spices and spices and herbs and all that. Nice. But it's really delicious. Usually I'm the one who drives in the city, but I asked him to drive because Nashville can be a bit chaotic to park and all that. So, and I don't have patience, so he's taking it for the team. <laughs> We're listening to some Johnny Cash and trying to get in Nashville mood, trying to get some food. Uh, weather is perfect. We're super pumped. So let's see what we can eat tonight and have a couple of drinks and see some live music. Cause we are in the music city. So let's go. Well, I saw you 
Setting the mood like a light in a smoky room Dancing to the blues like a disco groove Catching every eye When I saw you Looking at me with a smile like you wanted me Saying, boy, come on, I'll break the glass Good? Good. Good. Bon appétit. Parking Nashville is right. no in Miami. Yep, worse than Miami, guys. Whoever has a parking lot in Nashville, you are a billionaire. Good for you. Yeah, smart guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've been waiting for this, so let's see. I'm excited. Hips, the heartbeat song, the flow and dress in your hair. Girl, it ain't fair. Whatever you do, just don't stop. You're better than that. The show is over, we had a great time. It was four artists. Uh, the cool thing is that they talk about the song they wrote before they sing, which is awesome. You get to know the you know the backstory. Uh, a lot of Grammy nominated artists, which is amazing. They were all good, all four of them really, really talented. And they have a lot of songs coming out, or they have had some songs that got picked up by like famous artists. Yeah. Download like every single one of them. So. Yeah. So it's super exciting uh, to be here, super awesome. If you guys are interested into, if you have like extra days in, in Nashville, make sure you come to the listening room. Yeah, it's, it's really well worth it. You're gonna have a good time. You already know, baby. But this is the thing. The line for Hotty Beast is crazy. Right out the door. Sheesh. This is the line. For some chicken. There's some hot chicken. Check this out. Look at your girl. Like Joe looks at the Hardy Bees menu. I hope the line is worth it. The hype is worth it. I can't wait for this chicken. I'm fucking up. I'm excited. And he's drinking sweet tea right now. Can't take the heat, you know. This is called a stutter. Alright. All right. Right, y'all, we got the banana pudding. 
Always a good thought. 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 So this is our last food day in Nashville and we're gonna use this time to visit the Museum Hall of Fame and then after that we want to go to the Patterson house it's the last bar that we wrote down that we want to check out we're missing so we're gonna check out tonight we're excited for all of that yeah yeah There's a lot of information here at the museum, obviously, about music and the artists uh, that broke through um, and how country started. And I'm writing down my notes to get as much information as possible so I can come back home and, and listen to some of these artists um, that made history in the past. I didn't know the majority of them, so I'm excited to learn um, and listen to them once I get back home. So we start on the third floor and then we go down for the second. And this museum has a lot to offer. It has food, it has store, obviously. There's a lot going on. So, uh, come with time. We didn't. We missed them. But we're excited to be here. For the Swifties out there. under the food hall you're gonna find a bunch of shops Nike, Sephora and a bunch of others so it's a nice spot guys it's a nice spot it's just on Broadway the original princess <laughs> opa is spicy
In the next episode, we drive an hour and a half north of Nashville to explore the longest cave system in the planet. Any guesses where the cave is at? We'll share everything with you in the next video.